Well, here in Elkhorn, since the documentary, the uh, social media has blown up with Twitter and Facebook and emails and um, there's been 10 or probably over $10,000 raised for the windmill because everybody was concerned about the windmill. Um, I've probably gotten over 150 uh, liver pastay recipes, <laughs> so people are trying to help me out with that. So, but we've, I've answered probably close to a thousand messages on Facebook. Um, it must have just, taken you a long time. Yeah, it took a long time. It wasn't so bad because um, a lot of them, if you wait long enough at night when they're all asleep, they can't, you know, then they don't hit you back right away. <laughs> but during the day, if I tried to do that, but so I worked on it from probably. Uh, five o'clock to eleven o'clock every night for about a week to try to get caught up, and that slowed down a little bit. So, so what did just, people write? Oh, people. A lot of them wrote about that they're proud of us for what we're doing, and you know, keeping it Danish and all that kind of stuff. So those were those were really some of the good ones. Everybody's got different questions. A lot of them wrote uh, liver pastay recipes to me. That's what a lot of them were. Um, some of them just wanted to know more about Jack. Some of them want pen pals. Some of you know, everybody. Every, they're all a little bit different, and that's why I wanted to answer every one of them, you know, myself because they all they all have different answers. And some of them I've gotten into fairly long conversations with, so pretty pretty interesting. A lot of them uh, they share pictures of their of their homeland with me, you know, which is cool because if they're showing me pictures, then they're proud of it. So that's cool. So I always like to see that. So yeah, it's pretty pretty neat, pretty overwhelming. And what we don't hear in the documentary is that you actually went to Copenhagen. Yeah, we went to, Jordan and I went to Copenhagen um, for the airing of the first documentary. I believe that was in August, I think it was. So we were there for a short time, three days. And it was a, it was, it was a short three days, but we got a lot in. We, got on, we were on the Afton show, I believe it's called. We were on P4 and P3 radio. Uh, P3 with Tony and Two. And so, yeah, it was pretty neat. Got to see the production studio where they put it, put the film together. Um, got to try real Danish liver paste, um, How among did other you things. Like that? Oh, it was good. It was delicious. Was but it any different than the ones that you got here? That we get here? Yeah, yeah it was. It might have been a little different, but I'll tell you what: the the gals here in town do a pretty good job of making it. As long as you follow the directions, <laughs> you know. I think that was part of my problem. I didn't follow directions, but that's all right. And since then, we've got. Um, there's a young couple that's coming over probably a week before Tivoli that has contacted me, wants to come up about a week before Tivoli and then volunteer to help us with anything. They're in the States. In fact, um, they're going to be in the States, I think, this week and start in Florida, I think it is, and, and they're going to be up here for Tivoli, but they wanted to know if we want to come. They want them to come a week early and just help out and volunteer and stuff. So That's so nice. Where are they from? Yeah. You know? uh, Denmark. Yeah, from <laughs> where in Denmark? I can't remember. <laughs> and I haven't talked to him for a couple weeks. So, okay. and I've seen so many messages and everybody tells me where they're from. I can't keep it all straight, you know. Wherever, it looks like people really from. want to help you. Oh, yeah, everybody's been so generous. Yeah, it's pretty touching how generous everybody in Denmark's been, you know. Um, Even kids. Yeah, the little kids. They, I've gotten a lot of, uh, some teachers, not a lot, but I've had several teachers ask me to write their class and use it for part of a English lesson. And so I've done that. Um, and that's really fun because the kids just just random you know questions one of them was how long are your fishing poles you know so they don't care about liver paste or the windmill or any of that but there was there was a uh, that one girl that was on there i just got this yesterday from this class and i haven't answered them yet but she said that uh if she won the lottery she'd pay off the windmill for us and her one wish is yeah her one wish is to come to elkhorn so and this is a 10 year old girl so that's pretty that's, that's nice. pretty cool yeah very cool but yeah, the, there's been all kinds of crazy messages, so, yep.